Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Spragan and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World Iceborne with the Iceborne Down DLC. Okay, if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up button, it does the channel wonders. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, the subscription subscriptions most welcome and totally appreciated. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Right, so we're making nice steady progress through the main the main story and the main campaign at the moment. Going to do a few more bits like this before we can actually get Scott Strike in with us and we can start taking some of these nasties out, which will get some assistance. Right, so today we will be going to the ancient forest. As you can see up in the corner, we've got our ex an expedition this time. So we've got to go and set up a wee camp. So we'll go and get that started now. <laughs> I mean, can't just set it on fire there. <laughs> right, anyway, easily distracted. Let's go. Right now, we're in a stair. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Right, so I'm going to move the mark over so it highlights the ancient forest. Right, so over here it says Anjatha, Great Jagras. Basically, that's two out of the three monsters that you know about that's in this area. Flourishing flower beds. I don't, we haven't found them yet, so maybe once we get more to the open world part, then we can explore a wee bit more and find all the bits and pieces. But the weather's clear, so we're going to have a nice sunny day. Let's go and get this camp. And we're not a safe landing. <laughs> right, you can depart the expedition with sailing to the destination. That's basically just what we went through there. Uh, return from exposition. Right, so this, I don't think this is timed, I think we can just float about as much as we want and then we can leave once, once you're finished with exploring sort of thing. Right, we've got a new question mark here. Right, okay, we'll talk to her from over here. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint. It means you can explore to your heart's content. Yep. There. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to use you back over that. I can be watching the playback. No, that's the world to do it. Right. Post the new quest. No. No. We can't do quests just now, so we've just got to... Oh, nothing in the supply box for us. No. Right, so, out in the wilderness. Oh, we're going to better check them out. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Right, okay, so that's showing basically that we found a herb there and the herbs and stuff, so look at this. Pisky and Piscean Researcher. Right, let me sort this. Right, so we've placed our marker over where the team leader is and we're going to follow the fireflies, the fireflies right up to him. And I think we need to deal with any beasties on our way. We're on our own this time. So we get up, get this camp established, then I think that's quite a good, a good thing to get done. There we go. The stones. What oh, is this? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, it's this large doodles, doodles. 
Okay, one more. So, right. Well, well, I've got more time. I'll sit and look for all these question mark things. So when you get a question mark like that on the map, it means there's something around the map that you haven't found yet. So it's always worth following you know, like some of the question marks. So you can get new items unlocked. So like this up here. Bright moss. You can use that as slinger ammo. Mm. No, I've jumped out the wrong way. Are you going to fight me here? Oh, it's a wee jagger of seas. It's a big brother we fought the last time. trying to get to a new campsite but we do get there's old footprints, there's footprints and there's new footprints. I think. Old footprints, where is this? Right, that's footprints we haven't found before. It's always good if you get like footprints up but this is for the new creature that we haven't actually encountered yet. So it's always good because you get your exploratory points. Right. Yeah. It's so easy. Oh, we've got what's that? A mining out crop as well. As I say, there's loads of stuff to harvest, collect. All have purpose and all are worth collecting. Oh, that was the footprint. Oh. Right. I can come back. Ooh, cobwebs, I hate cobwebs. <laughs> right, so we're gonna just we're gonna keep trundling along the now. Ah there's a mark over here. Ooh, hey. Kill her. Aye, there's no chance I'm pronouncing that one. That uh, looks cool. Well, we don't take care of that past. You can't fall last night. Oh, yeah. Kill her, Yaku. Oh, definitely not a pronunciation I can get. Discovered that you can now get them um, new tutorial added. Let's see. Return to base for the expedition. Open the wild map and switch to the world map. Then select the stair. The area is there. That's what we're after. So we're going to have to go and kill this thing before we can set up camp. If not, it'll just crawl us all night. So we're going to head off. We're not even getting a chance to rest. Yeah.
Ein paar Stunden, wenn ich mir die sehr wusste. Das ist genug. The other part we're getting from it as well, and uh, it's great. Then we get points for that as well for uh, basically investigating the creature. So you learn more about it. You find its weaknesses and stuff. Right. Oh, this is cool. I can put that out there now. No. We have tracked them, so. That's a piercing pot. Powerful type of slinger ammo. Okay. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. Oh, Paratoad. Uh, right. Okay, so we're gonna go over, we'll get us finished off before he gets too far away from us. But that white glowy part, that's really good because we need them for like crafting armors and weapons and bits and pieces and Really good stuff. Right. Ooh, slidey. Right, where are you? Oh, there he is. That was waiting for me. Oh, it's us. Got some friends. Yay, we got him. Get away. Fight. Right, okay. Are we going to fight with me or are we going to run away? Because I want to harvest him. Oh, he is going to fight, isn't he? Right, harvest as much as we want this. Well, we'll do we use once I finish. Well, we had to call these ones earlier, so a few extra. That <laughs> won't matter. <laughs> Guess the ones. That's the ones we had to hunt the last time. So, how. Uh, oh, they're eating each other. Now we can get this. We'll, we'll harvest all these up. Try and get as many parts out of this lot as possible before the other spawns. Yeah, there it goes. Right, so there we go. So now we are heading back to the Tunte Astria. Right, so I take it that's us. And yeah, what oh, was this? Spotted something. What a mess. See, everything just catches your eye and you want to go and check it and see what it is and see what it does. So it's always worth that. The expedition expeditions are really good for that. It's always worthwhile because you figure out what everything is as well. Right, the map back up. Um, we don't need to set the camp up, I think the camp's already been set up for us while we've been away. World map, that's right. Right, back to Astria. Uh, we'll just start with the trade yard. That's your initial point when you come into Astria. So. So there we'll configure out all our rewards. We got a uh, one of eight things. <laughs> it's beak. We got it's plume, scale, monster bone S and another plume. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff to make things with. Well, so we have monster bone and malachite ore. Oh, cool. Cat did well this time. And the more things you do, the more your cat levels up and the better they actually get as well. So, 
it's always worth going out in the wee exploratory expeditions and having a float about, just going after all the question marks and then you figure out everything about the area and stuff. And it was that Palico attack defence increased and report to the ecological research team. Right, okay, let's speed through this and let's get, oh, there we go, new camp is available, Northwest Camp, Ancient Forest, excellent. Right, what, what's the one now? Eh, uh, got something to talk to me about? Uh, question mark. No way to talk to it, no. Right. Come on. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bit, sometimes it's a bit funny to get the, the, the markers. Come back soon. Alright, what is this? Provisions manager, crafting stuff. Honey and potion gives you a mega potion. Get a try. Okay. Right, that's pretty cool. We've got another couple of exclamation marks, which we could check out, but we're pretty much we've set up a camp and we beat that thing. I'm not going to pronounce its name because I ain't got a clue. Pretty much that is us for the video. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Early, early bosses, bossy ones like that, still pretty easy at the moment, so that's how we're going through them pretty quickly. But the later ones will take you a bit longer during the fights and things like that. We'll need to prepare a bit more and different things. So if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're enjoying the videos, also hit, hit the thumbs up button. Does the channel wonders. If you're not yet subscribed, these subscriptions are most welcome and totally appreciated. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. This is going to be a really good series, I can feel it in my bones. So, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of them. And, yeah, let me comment in the comment section down below. And, take care, stay safe, we'll catch you in the next one.